Look, isn't it beautiful? All the beautiful flowers are blooming now, out in the garden. Every day when I come out, I see something new blooming. We never know what we're going to find. But this one is beautiful, is it not? The white roses are still beautiful, are they not? Beautiful flowers everywhere. New buds opening up every day. This rose bush is just beautiful. Still need to get out here and do some trimming. I cannot believe all the beautiful white roses my rose plant has put on this year. Not, and it's been in the garden, oh, I don't know, two or three years. Mon and my granddaughters bought it for my birthday or Mother's Day. I don't know which. But, oh my, isn't it beautiful? Well, let's see if I can get this flower in a frame to show how beautiful it is. I hope you're enjoying it because I really can't see if I have it where I want it. And also, we have a lot more flowers coming. another one of my beautiful sunflowers and as you can see there's a lot more they're going to be opening up I think that's why the birds are so happy they see that I have really went all out for the sunflowers this year keep in mind we're going to have a lot more coming I just planted two more packages of sunflowers in the garden they probably aren't going to be up for another couple of months but they're coming. There's my sunflowers, big and beautiful, and every day another one opening up. Are they not beautiful? And they're opening up. This is the biggest sunflower I've ever seen with multiple blooms ever in my garden. Now, I did not plant this one. This one came from a plant that was here last year. And I don't know if it was this, why it is so big. I know the one that was here last year was not anywhere near as big as this one. This one is massive. Like I said, it's at least eight or 10 feet tall, it has to be. The six foot fence is way above. I don't know. Probably should have somebody measure it. Here's some more of my daylilies. These are in the front, though. Don't they have beautiful coloring? Except for when the snails attack it. Sorry, this poor little daylilies getting eaten up, but it's still surviving. It's been in the garden for probably like three or four years. It's not a new plant. But for whatever reason, it isn't very very big or very tall. So I'm assuming that the ruffled daylilies don't get as big. Or they just don't get as big in my garden. I don't know which. But you can see, if it wasn't being eaten up, I'm thinking maybe it's snails, but I couldn't say for sure. But... I'm gonna have to start coming out here this next week and start handpicking the snails out of my garden because it's becoming very annoying. But isn't it pretty? It would be if I didn't have snails eating them. Do you see the little corners of the petals, the ruffled look? These would be beautiful. Yep, the snails are getting start gonna get picked. Here is another one of my daylilies. This is a different kind. This one is a bigger one, and this will produce a lot more daylilies. And it's quite a bit taller. The one with the ruffle is pretty small in height. This one is fairly good size. 
but I have bigger daylilies. Let's go see what other ones I have. I think this is the evidence of what's happening to my daylilies, snails. Well, this one here, Poppy just opened and it still looks in pretty good shape. This one, they're already trying to suck the life out of it and destroy it. Oh well, it looks like someone is going to have to go get a little bag and start picking up all the snails I can find. The first time I get a day off, I think I'm going to get out here and do a lot more picking. And here's some more evidence of what I'm saying. Another day lily and another snail. Look at him eating away at my, look at that, you can see him chewing down on my day lily. Do you see him eating it? Oh, he's going to kill it. Yeah, yeah their, their days are numbered. Now I'm going to hand pick these guys and I know hand picking isn't going to really help me that much. But I am definitely not going to be putting pesticides in my garden. So I know people will tell me you can do this, you can do that. And they also tell me about the beer. I have not really had any luck with the beer either. I might try it again because I'm becoming so annoyed. But I'm not counting my luck. Just watching my daylily getting devoured by this snail is really depressing me. Do you see what he's doing? You can see him eating it. And the trouble with these little guys, you got to get out here because the sun is coming up to even find them. And it's hard to even find them at night, except that they're going across my, my yard. Then, of course, I can see them. But they're sneaky little guys, and they're hard to always find. This is just a beautiful little section of the garden. Right now, all my California poppies are closed up. They'll open back up later in the day, but I try to get out here and take pictures early in the morning for I don't have any shadows. Do you notice there's no shadows at all? If you get up at the crack of dawn and get out into your garden to take pictures, your pictures will look as good as this. But because I'm working all the time, it's hard to do. But succulents are the great way, if you don't live where it's too cold, you can put a lot of beautiful plants in a small area. Don't take a lot of water and show a lot of different interesting things to see. Here is another succulent. This doesn't get flowers, but look at the stems. They're a bright burgundy color. And these are so easy to grow and cut and get another one. I know succulents can be a little pricey when you find them in the stores, but think of them as vestment pieces because they live for years and you can take cuttings and make more plants very, very easy. Look how this one's just cascading over. Isn't it beautiful? I really don't do too much to my succulents. They're just beautiful by themselves and they always change and there's always something different. Now all these beautiful little flowers you see coming out are coming from these rosettes down here. And each little rosette will make a new plant. And I do all the time. All these plants you see, most of them are cuttings that have now grown into new plants. All these fire plants that are, um, I don't know, I, I don't know if I would call them exactly red, but they can get a lot darker and a lot redder if they get into more sun. My grandson has come over and taken some cuttings off these plants and his were like more like green, but now that he's planted them in, in the actual sun more, uh, they're more of a bright red. Where these are at in my backyard, there is quite a bit of shade, but succulents, I know maybe people don't know it, can live just fine in shade. At least mine seem to. I have a lot of them in shade. Now, I'm not saying they wouldn't do better if they were in the sun, but they do all right in the shade. 
But I also want to mention one thing. People don't know this. They can get too much sun because I live in Southern California. And you know, it's, they, when it gets summertime, some of them that get too much sun, they really stress. So I don't think it's hard to grow them in partial shade at all. And they will grow in sun all day. But if you live in a real hot climate like I do, they can struggle if you give them all day sun.